So this is my brother, 2125, LS2125. I had it stored in my kids' room for their playroom for a couple years after my daughter decided to try to use it. She broke the needle and I just left it sitting there. When I got it back, it was all covered with chocolate milk splashes, dusty and dirty. Needle was still broken. The bobbin would not turn. And so I took it apart, adjusted the bobbin. The problem was that there's a nylon gear and I watched another video where it came apart. From the screw loosened and it came apart. I had the same situation, the gear was all jammed up and it came apart, the screw came loose. I fixed it, but I still need another adjustment. So I'm gonna go back, take it apart again. I'm gonna show you guys how to take it apart. All right, I'm gonna try to do this efficiently so you guys won't have to wait too long to figure this out. There are three screws in the back. One holds this front cover on. This right here, a little bit different than the rest. I believe, unless I put the wrong one in there, but. You need a Phillips screwdriver. The front cover comes off. Okay. Then you have two more screws. One inside the handle, one inside the handle here, and one down here at the bottom. I'll get those out. Okay, once you loosen up those two screws in the back, or once you take out the two screws in the back, we'll start to loosen up. There are a few screws in the front also. There's going to be one inside the cover here, down there in the corner. There's one here. I'll take those two out and then I'll show you what's next. Alright, got the first one out. I'm going to try to keep track of your screws. Just dump them down there on the floor. Okay, let's take a look and see what we're doing. So the front cover should come off. Oh, actually, there's one more inside here. You just need to loosen this up. It's right here on the bottom edge of the front there. It's a side screw. You need to loosen that up. Don't need to take that one all the way out. So I think the front cover is loose. Now I did take the door off. There we go. Front cover just came right off. Alright. Get the back cover off. Well, the first time I did that, the front cover didn't come right off. You have to angle it like this and pry along this edge to pop out this hook. That's the main thing stopping everyone from getting this open. Just pry a little screwdriver or something out of there and wiggle it around. And as you're pulling on it, that hook will release. So that's the main catcher right there to stopping everybody. So now we have this open. In order to get the back off, we have to take, let's see. Oh, here it is over here on this edge. Take this one out. And uh, this one down here. And I think that's it. We'll check. Oh, there's also the last one. A little tricky. It's up here between these two bars. You notice all the screws that you need to take out look the same except for this one back here I'm not sure if that was the right one that gold one or if that came from somewhere else when I was originally taking it apart but maybe we could figure that out later okay so let's get those out 
We'll see if the back comes off. I just noticed right here, this little washer was sitting on top. And when I looked through there, I didn't see anything there last night. Now that I remember, there was a little fine tuning knob. Fine tuning uh, knob there next to the thread selector. And that was broken off from the kids, I imagine. I don't think it's going to affect anything. At least for what I'm doing, just some basic stitching. So let's get back to this, taking like, these two screws out. Two out over there. These, this is the last one. After this, I should be able to pull the back off. This one I'm just going to dump out. I don't have a magnetic screwdriver. Oh, it seems to be sticking there, so... grip somewhere to saw it on the frame you want to pull away from the power socket and this just slide out one second hard to do like this so let's see if I can figure it out oh now I see what was stopping me the needle bar is up so with the needle bar up it's preventing it from coming but let the needle bar down and it slides off there we go I hope that helps so, moving on, the part that was broken is this plastic uh, gear attachment. The screw came out and it was all jammed up down here. So I had to figure out how to get that back in there, but I think I need to adjust the uh, positioning on the gear because the, uh, the bobbin hook is coming down sooner than the needle. So I need to move this back, I believe, a couple notches and then readjust the needle drop if I need to. That's another repair, but just getting the part off, just getting the front and back off is the big thing. If you can do that without damaging anything. Just a quick update. I got my uh, adjustment back there from that gear. I just kept readjusting the position, or moving the wheel around and, re and remounting it until it came into the right position to where the bobbin latch would come to the needle position that I want it and then I put it back together and tested it and I was finally able to pull my thread up so problem solved I broke the light bulb in the process I know a lot of the other tutorials recommended taking out the light bulb I guess I can recommend that also now I have to replace that but besides the uh, other button that was already broken it looks like it's gonna be okay I'll put it back together and give it a quick stitch and see what it looks like Everything's been repaired. Um, I did figure a couple of things out. It was easier to repair when I took the door off. I had to put that back on. Basically, uh, just remount it and slide this clip back underneath um, to secure it. Also, the other colored screw, the one that was kind of gold, that fits in there. And the long screw that I had in there fits in the back to hold this cover on. So I'm going to get everything set up and we're going to do a quick stitch so I can show you. Oh, these are the adjustments. I have it on five here and on here. I have it on this second notch, the six there. And I'm going to test it out on a piece of fabric. Okay, I have a piece of fabric here. I think it's like a rayon or satin or something. And I'm going to try to sew a seam 
along the closed edge here. This may be like an eighth inch seam. So I'm going to set it along the edge of my foot. Maybe it's a quarter inch, we'll see. Put the foot down. Go ahead and push the needle down until it's touching the fabric. Hold the seam. I'm not really good at this, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. Just hold, it, hold the fabric gently and give the foot a gentle push. All right, I got a few stitches. I'm gonna check the thread there. Looks good. I'm gonna push the button here on the right side and give it a couple reverse stitches to lock that threading in place. All right, so now I'm gonna follow the foot along this edge try to keep it straight. A little wiggly. Try to control it. Slow it down a little bit. Stitch it a couple stitches and then stitch it back. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and follow the rest of this stitch, but since I want to show you guys, I'll take it apart and I'll start over. I'm going to make sure the needle is clear from the fabric, raise the foot and pull it backwards, lower the foot to lock the threading in place. Whoops, push that foot there. And I need my scissors, just one second. All right, so I'm gonna hold the fabric, hold the thread and just give it a snip. And let's take a look at that seam. I actually have uh, a black thread in my bobbin and a white thread loaded up. So we have black on one side and white on the other. Uh, let's turn this inside. Can you see the threading on there? Let's turn it over. Or inside out and see. It's pretty solid. It looks kind of straight. So, uh, that's going to be what I need to make some pillows and such. Pretty straight seam. A lot quicker than hand sewing. It looks nice. Alright guys, thanks for watching.